hi. It's uh, Nancy again. I'm going to try and keep these shorts up and asking around and they say they're a little too long. But um, my name's Nancy Ogline and uh, I'm trying to start a movement for God. I have concerns about our nation and where it's going and what might happen next. Uh, there's a lot of concerns. There's a lot of stuff if you look into it, you know, what's going on in America. But I just want to make this quick. There's, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not good at this, okay? This is very, very new to me. I'm a very quiet person. But, um, two months ago, God put a seed in my heart and asked me to do something really big. Um, I'm trying to start a prayer chain the whole way across the United States. And, uh, in my other videos, I called myself crazy. And I got a comment from somebody, and he said, quit calling yourself crazy. He said, there are a lot of cre pe crazy people in this world, and I'm not one of them. And do I want my children growing up thinking just because you have a belief in God, and it's something big that God did, says, hey, why don't you do this, makes you a crazy person. And he's absolutely right. I'm not crazy. I'm just uh, being driven to do something. And for two months, I ignored it. This right here is um, what I'm going to use to symbolize the Holy Spirit. Okay? We all have it in us. It's all right here in our heart. Okay? And when we first get saved, it's just like, whoosh, it's wide open. It's just moving and flowing, and it's going through us. Okay? And then life comes along, and this goes wrong, and it slows down. Okay? And then that goes wrong. And then maybe somebody dies. It kind of folds up. Or you get your heart broke. And it folds up again. And then at some point, it kind of just gets tucked away. Okay? But it's, it's still there. And it's trying to get out of your heart. Okay? And maybe you're at Walmart or wherever. And you have a notion. You see somebody that you think maybe... Man, they look like they could use some help. Or they look like they're really depressed. They look like they could use some cheering up. And that Holy Spirit, it's bouncing in there a little bit. Because it's been tucked away for a while. And you say, let somebody else do it. And you go on about your day. And then you do it again. And then you do it again. And then before you know it, that Holy Spirit is tucked up so tight. And you have to let it out. If you feel a nudge, if you feel anything for anybody else. Okay, this is a whole about, you know, God put us on this earth to be a symbol for his glory and for his kingdom. And he loves us immensely. And he uses us to help others. So, you know, if you have that moment, I was at Walmart and this lady got out of her car and she was an older lady and she just looked so beat down by life. And then I was going to drive away because I had the notion, like, you should give her some money. I had $7 to my name. That was it. $7. And then she got a little girl out of the car. And you know, that was not her daughter. She was probably grandma. And when she got that little girl out of that car, that little girl looked straight at me. So they started walking up to Walmart. I pulled up next to them, and I asked the lady, I said, do you want some money? And she said, no, I don't have any money to give you. And I said, no, I want to know if you could use some money. And she said, yeah. And I said, well, it's not much, but I took everything I had left in my wallet, and I gave it to her. And I asked her if I could pray for her. And we did. We prayed right there at Walmart. And she she was happy. She was thankful. And, you know, I pray that God just continues to work in her life. But if I would have chose to keep that tucked in there, it wouldn't have happened. But I didn't. I chose to let that Holy Spirit out of me and to move around. Okay, we can't keep that Holy Spirit tucked inside of us. 
it's just not good. And it's not how God meant us as believers to be. So if you can do something small for somebody today, or tomorrow, or whenever, I just ask that you do that, okay? And I'm Nancy Obline, and I'm saying I want God to bless America again. But we as believers need to be there so that God can use us whenever he calls us to be used. All right, I thank you, and God bless everybody. I'll have more videos coming. Bye.